When your food is past the date on the label, do you keep it or do you toss it? Nine out of ten shoppers are confused by the different dates on the labels, according to the National Resource Defense Council. The U.S. Department of Agriculture trying to reduce that confusion by releasing food labeling guidelines. Maria was joined by the nutrition twins, Tammy Lekatos and Shames and Lisi Lekatos, last week to help solve all the confusion. As registered dietitians, I want to say that we live by, if in doubt, throw it out. Okay. So that's what we always say in terms of food safety. But based on that, the fact that the average American family is throwing away $1,500 worth of food a year that is perfectly good, we think that, you know, a lot of us are living in a lot of doubt when we want to just clear up the confusion. Well, so, that's the thing. I mean, yeah. I feel like when, you know, when you, when you think you've had something for a week or two, my instinct is just throw it out. And then I right. feel like we end up wasting so much food. And you're right. And that's how people feel. The doubt is really like you see the sell-by date, and that's really for the person on, that's for the store, that sell-by date. And that, we all think of that as being something that it might be the verge of spoiling, but actually that just means it's all about quality. It's about when the store should take it off the shelf because it might not taste as good, it might not oh, be as consistent, okay. it might not be as fresh. All right, so Lucy, uh -huh. take us through the process of deciding whether to keep or, or toss certain products. You brought okay. some products for us. Tell us okay. that. How do you determine if, for example, we should throw out these eggs? Okay, well, with eggs, it's three to five weeks past the sell-by date. Ah, oh, three so to five three weeks, to five weeks. weeks. Yes. sell-by date. Milk is only, milk is only a week past, but you can eat it a whole, you can drink it a whole week past the sell-by date. With yes. eggs, we always say a golden rule, and it's not about spoilage necessarily, but if you go within the three to five weeks to know how fresh it is, take a bowl, fill it with water. I love this test. You drop the egg into the bowl. If it sinks and goes and kind of lies on the bottom of the bowl, you've got a fresh egg. But even so, generally speaking, five weeks after the cell bite. Yeah, egg, three to five weeks you, you exactly for the, the egg. egg. Yeah. And the milk is just one yeah. week. Yeah. Okay. Chicken, okay. seafood, it's going to be, you want to cook it or freeze it within about one to two days of buying it. Well, let's move on to okay. meat products. Okay, yeah. meat That's, products, yeah. after when you buy it, you want to cook it or freeze it within three to five days. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And and what happens if you freeze it? How long does it have well, staying power it has for freezing? It, it locks in, so you're you're not really so worried about it. It's yeah, more in about terms a quality of safety, issue. it's quality. So for in terms of quality, maybe about a year in case there's freezer burn. A year. But yes. A year, but in, in terms of safety. It's almost indefinitely. As long as it stays frozen, you're not going to have to no, worry about it. Like, for example, grow. somebody sent yeah. me as a gift last Christmas Omaha steaks, and I still have uh, them in the freezer. Yeah, yeah you, you should be fine. fine. The quality might not be as good. Omaha steaks. Oh, I'm probably going to toss them then. Yeah. Yeah. saying the quality. I'm not going to have a question yeah. with yeah. meats. Yes. No, it won't be it dangerous. Won't be safe. It, well, it's not a safety issue. It okay. just won't be. Omaha steaks would want you to throw them out because <laughs> they don't want you to think it doesn't taste it okay. as fresh. Good, good, yeah. good advice. Right. <laughs> canned dates. Okay. I mean, so you know, canned, canned food. Canned food. This is a crazy one. Now, if it's a high acid food like canned tomatoes, then you have 18, 18 months. But if it's like low acid food like green beans, you have five years after five the date. Five years. Five yeah. years. So we did something fun, Maria. We went through, when we knew we were coming, we went through our pantry into our refrigerator and we gather some items and some of the items have plenty of time on the date and some of them do not. Okay. And right. <laughs> we have a few questions for you. We're going to go through a few and ask you what you think. Now, the mayonnaise, I have to admit, we did not have this, but we know this is a popular one. We bought it yesterday. The date is plenty good, but how long do you think you can keep mayonnaise for? Mayonnaise, after the date. dairy, I would say a week after the date. You actually have three months. Three months, okay. Yeah. okay. So that's not bad, right? Not bad, okay. What do you think about peanut butter? Uh, How long year. after the date? Pretty close, nine months. Okay. Okay, so this one, sadly, I went in my refrigerator uh, about a few days ago and I used it. And then I went to go and do the segment and I saw that the date said Mar uh, May 2013. Oh my God! Yeah, so and it's open. It. Once it comes <laughs> open, I'm Actually, chucking that. Actually, surprising. Well, so the thing that's surprising. So this is falls under the category of like soy sauces, teriyaki. Chili. You actually have three years. Oh, okay. Now, unfortunately, three this was only three and a half years. And Even I, when it's open, you have three years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In the refrigerator. Right. Okay. Three and a half years. And I will tell you, the bad news was I should have thrown it out because it's three and a half years. The good news was it tasted so good, and I was almost out of it that I went to the store and got another one. Okay. <laughs> Real quick, we got to jump. Yeah. The ketchup. Okay. Uh, what about the ketchup? This is all a year. You can keep it in there for a year. A year. The ketchup, the yeah. jelly, the salad dressing, a year. Even yeah, when it's open. Barbecue yeah. Stuff. yeah. Okay. Even when it's open. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Tammy, Lisey, great to see you both. Thanks, Thanks for Thank you so us. much for the advice. All right. Thank you so much again to the Nutrition Twins for stopping by and giving us that useful information. All right.